In 1985, Microsoft released a graphical user interface, or GUI, for their text-based operating system, MS-DOS. Known as Windows, it consisted of what had become known as a windowing system, or simply Windows. Windows were areas on the screen that represented and displayed a particular app. Whilst Windows 1 was not the first GUI with a windowing system, it was the first to be literally named after them. This idea came from Microsoft employee Roland Hansen, who explained, The common description of GUIs was windowing systems. In one name, we defined the category, and everybody else reinforced our name. During the development of Windows 1, Microsoft had to decide between two types of windowing systems, overlapping or tiled. Overlapping windows allowed users to easily switch between multiple apps by moving them to the foreground when in use and the background when not. But a major disadvantage of overlapping windows was that app content easily got lost if obstructed by another window. Tiled windows, on the other hand, had the advantage of showing the user content from all apps simultaneously, but with the disadvantage of requiring more screen space to be able to display a useful amount of content from within apps. In 1983, Scott McGregor joined the team working on Windows 1. Though overlapping windows had already been tested, and which Apple had chosen to use for its Macintosh operating system in 1984, Scott posited the idea of using tiled windows for Windows 1, arguing that they would be easier for users to manage compared to overlapping ones. However, it appears that Bill Gates, Microsoft's co-founder and CEO, disagreed with Scott's idea. The Windows product manager at the time, Leo Nicora, would later recall, One of the biggest arguments raging at Microsoft at the time was tiling versus overlapping. Scott was trying to make arguments as to why tiling was a more efficient use of the screen. And Bill just said, That's not what a Mac does. I want Mac on the PC. By early 1985, after many delays and months behind schedule, a new product manager joined the Windows 1 team, called Tandy Trower. His task was simple, get Windows shipped by the end of the year. Because of this strict deadline, his desire to change the windowing system in Windows 1 from tiled back to overlapping, in time for release, ultimately did not come to fruition. It was left then for 1987's Windows 2 to finally introduce overlapping windows to Windows. With this same windowing system, with more than a few visual changes over the years, underpinning all future releases. In 